Welcome sa sip9.com. This video, tutuloy natin ating series on percent, no? So, napag-aaralan na natin sa previous video yung uh, ano ba ibig sabihin ng percent, no? And uh, dito ay magkakaroon tayo ng dalawang exercises na sasagutan natin, no? So, in a SIPA game, Danila, or sorry, this is Danilo. So, Danilo made 35 hits out of 100 tries. Express, express the ratio of hits to the number of tries that need to be made as yung 1, yung fraction, 2 decimal, and 3%. So sabi natin kanina, 35 hits out of 100. So, for 1, yung ating fraction, syempre, ay 35 over 100. At uh, pag 35 over 100, ibig sabihin yan, para makuha mo yung decimal place niya, i-divide mo siya, no? Yung 35 35 divided by 100, no? And I think, uh, hindi na natin kailangan compute. Uh, alam natin na uh, 35 um, divided by 100 cannot be, no? So, magdagdag tayo ng decimal point, no? Dito. And this is 0. And then, uh, we have, uh, maglalagay tayo ng 0 dito, and, uh, 350 divided by 100 is this. Sabi natin, hindi tayo magkocompute. Ano? But again, nagcompute tayo. So, 300. And of course, meron tayong 50 dito. Maglalagay tayo dito. And we have 0.35. No? And uh, of course, um, may shortcut naman dyan. No? Pag uh, uh, over 100 siya, ang decimal places natin, minove lang natin ng twice to the left no? from the whole number. So, Ang decimal point ng 35, same as 35.0, di ba? So, imamove mo lang ng dalawa. This is, this is equal to 0.35. So, yung sagot natin sa number 2, no? ang number 2, ang sagot natin ay 0.35. No? I think napag-aralan na natin yan, but then uh, this is just a review. And of course, sabi natin ang in percent, no? sabi natin ang... Uh, one way to represent a fraction whose denominator is 100 is a percent. No? So 30, 35 over 100 is 35 percent. Okay? So there, sa pangalawang, uh, pangalawang problem natin, there were 50 workers of these. Uh, 35 attended the town fiesta. What part of the number of workers went to the town fiesta. Express this number as a fraction, a decimal, and percent. So dito, ang fraction natin is 35 no, out of 50, di ba? Yung kasi yung total natin. So our fraction is 35 out of 50 or 35 over 50. Well, a decimal, of course, a decimal, kailangan natin siyang i- uh, divide, but para tayo makapag-divide ng mas mabilis, pwede natin gawin is uh, i-divide natin siya by gusto natin mag mag madali siyang i-divide, di ba? So, para madali i-divide, pwede natin siyang i-divide by 5 para tayo yung magiging denominator niya, no? Of course, you can uh, you can also so magiging uh, 35 so, 35 over 50, no? we divide 5 para maging lowest term siya. That is equal to 7. 5 over 5. This becomes 7 over 10. Or, again, sabi natin kanina kung dalawa yung 0, i-move lang natin yung decimal point to the left. Dito isa lang yung 0, kaya maging 0 0.7 siya. No? Isang decimal place lang from the right. Right to left, no? To the left hand side. Okay, so what about yung percent, no? So pag marunong na kayo mag-decimal to percent, uh, pwede nyo yung gawin, but then we will we will focus on this no, sa fraction. Sabi kasi natin kanina, pag sinabi mong percent, no? Review lang, no? Pag sinabi mong percent, di ba? Out of, ibig sabihin nito is out of, of 100. No? Pero dito sa 35 over 50, out of 50 lang siya. So, ano pa pwedeng gawin natin para maging out of 100? Magpa-plus pa tayo na 50 o magta-times 2 ba tayo? No? 
So, pag nag-times 2 tayo, actually magta-times 2 tayo, hindi tayo magpa-plus 50, no? So, ang pwede lang natin gawin para sa fraction, magta-times 2 tayo on both the numerator and the denominator, or mag-divide. Kasi, pag nag-times 2 tayo, pag nag-times tayo or nag-divide tayo on ang both numbers, we are not changing the value, no? So, pag sinabi mong 30 times 2 over 2, pinabago mo ba yung value niya? Di ba hindi? Kasi, tinimes mo sa 2, pero dinivide mo rin sa 2. Ibig sabihin, hindi mo binabago ng value. Isa pa yung 2 over 2 is 1. Di ba? So, 2 over 2 is 1. So, it's just saying that 35 over 50 times 1. It's the same, no? Pero pag nag-plus ka, hindi pwede yan, no? Magiging 85 over 100 na, magiging iba na yung value niya. So, we multiply both the denominator and the numerator by 2. So, this becomes 70 out of 100. Out of 100 na siya. So, pwede na natin siyang sabing percent. So, this is equal to 70 percent. Okay. So, nasagot na natin yung dalawang questions. I hope uh, meron kayo natutunan sa video na to. Kahit maiksi lang, I hope meron kayo natutunan. Uh, gusto kayong invite sa sipnayan.com. Yan yung ating website. And of course, kung gusto nyo mag-subscribe sa ating channel, you can uh, click the subscribe button below para makareceive kayo ng notification sa inyong email pag meron tayong bagong video. Maraming salamat and see you in the next tutorial.